All right. Welcome back, everyone, to Plant-Based Kidney Health. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. My partner is Michelle Krosmer. So today's question, and this is for Michelle. So, Michelle, the question we got asked was, is gluten bad for kidney health? What do you think? Yeah. So I think, well, I'm always asked, is gluten bad in general? But we're going to look specifically for kidney health. Um, So studies on gluten and kidney disease are actually done in um, looking at IgE nephropathy. So IgE nephropathy, which is an autoimmune disease that attacks the kidneys, that's where most of the studies are done on um, the actual potential, you know, cause and effect of of gluten and kidney disease. So when we're looking specifically at IgA nephropathy, um, the connection between gluten and IgA nephropathy is unclear. Um, We do know that people with, um, you know, there's more of a connection in like celiac disease, which you have to be on a gluten-free diet, is more common in people who have IgA nephropathy compared to the general population. So I think when we're looking at that specific population, if you have IgE nephropathy, it might be something where a gluten-free diet um, helps you and is beneficial. It's still something, again, it's unclear, it's not conclusive evidence, um, but it might be something that that helps you and that you might want to consider. For the general, you know, general kidney disease, there's no evidence showing that gluten is harmful or inflammatory for the kidneys or causes, you know, faster progression of kidney disease um, or anything like that. And the the thing to remember is that gluten is found in many foods that are um, good plant-based protein sources, are high in fiber, that can be beneficial for people with kidney disease, high blood pressure, diabetes. Um, you know, look at things like barley and farro. Those are whole grains that are a great protein source. They're high in fiber and they contain gluten. So um, for the general population of people with kidney disease that don't have IG nephropathy, then you don't need to be restricting gluten in the diet. Um, but again, I think it's important that if, if someone feels better keeping gluten out of their diet, um, there's nothing wrong with doing that either. There's plenty of foods that are naturally gluten-free and that's where it really, that's the most important thing to look at. So of course your fruits and vegetables, your legumes, your nuts and seeds, soy, um, those are all naturally gluten-free foods. And then there's even whole grains like millet, quinoa, um, different rice, you know, our brown rice, wild rice. Um, you can get oats that are certified gluten-free. Those are all, all, all are all whole grains that can be um, used in a gluten-free diet if you do find that you feel better eating a gluten-free diet. I think where people get into trouble and where you know, is if you're having gluten-free cookies and crackers and chips and gluten-free pancakes and pastries, there's no benefit to that for your kidney health compared to if you were just having gluten-free, whole, minimally processed, um, plant-predominant foods. Like that's where you actually see the benefit in protecting the kidneys. So um, to kind of summarize that up, there's no evidence that in people with kidney disease that um, gluten is harmful, that it's inflammatory, that it's bad for them. People with IgA nephropathy, there is a little bit more research on that and the connection's unclear, but it might be something that you want to consider. And um, as always, that's something where hopefully you can work with a renal dietitian to help look at your diet, look at Um, help you see those um, foods that do contain gluten, don't contain gluten, and how to fit that into your diet. All right. Thanks, everyone.